these days you hear a lot of people speaking about vibes. Those they mean um, energy vibrations. Young people oft often speak about avoiding bad vibes, about avoiding negative vibes. And you have people seeking positive vibes. I'm glad that my generation and the previous and the next generation is aware of vibrations. But there is a trap in here. When your focus is to only have positive vibrations around you, you easily fall into the deception of seeing relief as deliverance. And there is a huge difference. Relief and deliverance are two separate things. They are not even alike, even though they appear to be from a dualistic point of view. And the world is dualistic, the worldly way of thinking is dualistic, that's why it appears as if relief automatically means deliverance. Look, if you're in an environment where people are unkind, or when people have all these insecurities on the inside, there is a negative vibration. There's negative energy generated over there, that's true. And if nobody is targeting that at you, you're not that much affected by it. Unless the, the, negative, unless the weight energy is so heavy and that, that it weights on you. Now look, you may go to some psychic or you can go to some astrologist and they will tell you after they did the weird ceremony of either reading your hand or reading some tarot cards, they will tell you that, because demons will inform them that, the people at your workplace have negative vibes, so they're not, they're not healthy. And again, it's, the, it's a true fact. It's true that those people have negative vibes. That's a fact. It's not a lie. But here's what you're not being told. There are negative vibes everywhere. Most of the people walking this earth, they're not delivered. So they're generating some kind of waste energy or the other. They're, they're not delivered. But you'll never hear a psychic nor a medium tell you this. They want you to believe I'm not saying the psychic per se, maybe they're not your parent, but the demons inside them want you to believe in the illusion that you just need to find people with positive vibes, then things will be alright. So how do you define people with positive vibes? People with positive vibes are defined as people you are comfortable around. Alright, but, oh, okay, okay. And what's comfortable when people validate you? When people validate you and give you a good feeling. That's what people see as a positive vibe. And that's where the deception lies. Okay, look. If you, let's say for example, you have, you have parents that are toxic. And you want to be relieved from their toxicity. Okay, that's, that's right. You should be relieved from their toxicity. Because your parents, they ought to have repented years back. And you're not obliged to put up with their negativity. That's true. Okay, and that's just an objective situation. They are generating harm, and they have no intention of changing their ways, so you need to be, be set free from that. You need to be made free from that, I mean. So that's our, that's, that's our situation, that's right. But now, you're away from your parents, you're in your own home, but hold on, you are not delivered. You may be out of a circumstance, but you're not delivered. So what happens now, the fact of your parents' toxicity are still with you. And without being aware of it, you are also generating negative vibes. And now you are at the workplace and someone else feels uncomfortable around you. And now that individual goes to some clairvoyant and they tell you that you have negative vibes, that you should be avoided. And that individual himself among his own relatives, people feel comfortable around him. You see how this is going? People are being... The blind are...
are leading the blind. They're being misled from one deception to another. Look, let's say that you left your parents. Let's say now you have a group of people you're out with. You go to cafes often, you go to parties, and you have a lot of release of that negative energy. So you, as a consequence, this emotional, this energy tie is, is being built between you. So you feel comfortable around them. So you have relief. And this relief has a healing effect on you. You're not being healed, but you have, it has a healing effect. But now you have a group of people you're hanging out with. Now other people around are seeing that there's a lot of negative vibes coming from you as a group. But you folks are not aware of it because you guys are experiencing relief often you're together. So you are relieved, but you're not delivered. Just look at the ancient Israelites who were delivered out of Egypt. They were out of Egypt. They were away from the danger. But the danger was still inside of them. And because they were still because they were not delivered from let me say they were rescued out of a circumstance. They were not slaves anymore in Egypt. But they were not delivered. They were not healed. Because of that, they longed back to whatever was destroying them. And you often see this with people when they are not delivered but only relieved, they will reproduce that negative energy field that they, that they want to get away from. Another example, you have migrants. And not, I mean, not that much when you have refugees that come from regions that are torn by either civil war or by some political and military conflict. Yet all these tensions that, that's escalated in their, in their environment, so they flee. They flee to a, to a country, let's say they fled to Italy or some other European country where it's relatively safe and stable. Okay, that's a good thing. You made the right decision by moving away from danger. But hold on. You're now in that other country. There are more refugees right, like you. And now you have refugees in a refugee, refugee camp. Let's say you have people from, uh, let me think, from Somalia. They're over there. And you have people from Ethiopia. And let's say that in Ethiopia and Somalia there are tensions between the Ethiopians and Somalians. And now you have refugees from both Ethiopia and Somal Somalia that are in a refugee camp somewhere in Italy. Now you might think they're all refugees, so they all went through hardship, so they are glad they are relieved. Yes, they are relieved. They're not there anymore. But they're not delivered. They're not healed. Because why? In a refugee camp, the tensions back home are reproduced. Now, you have rivalries between the Somalians and the Ethiopians. Now, you, you have fights. Now, you have a rape going over there. Now, you have all these ang ex explosive anger issues over there. And this is an example I've made up, but it happens. There are many incidents with refugees that came to Europe, or they went to America, and they began to fight out the war that were going on in their home country. So you have people, for example, from Syria fighting against people from fighting against Kurdish people, refugees in Sweden, in Germany. They were relieved, but they were not delivered. So this is what deliverance means. Deliverance means that the negative energies have no hold on you anymore. That does not mean that you're not affected by it. But it has no hold on you anymore. For example, let's say that some people just don't like you. Why? Because they have their issues on the inside they are projecting onto you. Because you're not an object to be attached to. So, so to, for people to attach a version onto you that's dislike, they're, they're wrong. They're just projecting their inner poverty onto you. That's their issue. And because of it, they, are, they are meditating negative about you and this sends negative vibes towards you. In the beginning, this affected you. You even became physically ill because of it. But after a while, you begin to detox your mind from all the lies people were saying about you. 
and you began to realize that, hold on a minute, it's them having their issue, not me. And after you removed yourself from people that spoke insecurity into your, your spirit, now you, your mind has developed, your mind has become stronger, because of that your energy field around you, which is your aura, has also developed. So now you may be at a job, and some people still have negative, are still sending negative vibes towards you, but the negative vibes are returned back onto them. Or the negative vibes do crash on your energy field and you do sense that weight, but it doesn't affect you that, that much anymore. There is an effect, but you're not burned by it and it doesn't control you and it doesn't determine you anymore. So you, so you remain confident and comfortable despite all the waste energy being, being sent towards you. Or it can be that you just live in an environment that's very hostile. People are hostile towards one another. While growing up, this harmed you, but now you've, you've been delivered, and you are shining bright and well, and you're not, you're not even aware of the hostility around you. From time to time, there are psychic attacks upon you, because it's a hostile environment, but you're delivered. It's important to be delivered first, and then to have relief from circumstances. Because often, when you're delivered, that's already a relief. But to just be relieved from circumstance itself, that alone is not good. That alone might even increase trouble. Just as I explained of um, those refugees, by the way, there are refugees that flee to stable countries and they do adapt and it goes well with them. But there are refugees that flee to other countries and they bring their tensions with them to the new society that they have fled to, that is sought asylum in, to sought asylum into. So, before you think that you need to move to another country or you need to move to another place or you need to end a marriage or change your job, be delivered. Sometimes when you are delivered, the issues disappear. Because you need to understand this. Um, when you are delivered, the negative energy and all the negative meditation together with all those demons, they can infect the environment around you. But when you're delivered, they can't affect you. That doesn't mean that from time to time you won't feel the weight when, there's a, when there are attacks upon you. But when, when you're delivered, you are delivered. So it's important to seek deliverance. It's important to seek healing. A lot of people seek relief. And in the world, when you seek relief, often you will get relief. People seek relief by taking drugs. People seek relief by drinking much alcohol. People seek relief by getting involved into cursed sexual relationships. People seek relief by running away. Look, if a situation is life-threatening to your body and to your health, of course you should get away. That's obvious. I'm not talking about that. If a situation is dangerous and people decide to be dangerous, for example, if someone is has a knife or a gun, then do, do what your brain is, is provoking you to do. Run away. Don't stand still. I'm not speaking about getting away from physical danger. I'm not speaking about that. Alright? That's that's obvious, that's logical, that's natural for you to do. What I'm speaking about is that a lot of folks, they don't look at the big picture. They don't look at the big picture. They only focus upon how they feel and, and what they think they want. And often people project their discomfort onto something else or onto someone else. It can be indeed. Let me give an illustration. It, it can be indeed. Let's say you live somewhere in a suburb in London. It can be that indeed the people in that environment, they are quite false and nasty towards one another. It can be the truth. Okay? And let's say that, that, that it, it's true. It can be that you live over there. It can be that you are uncomfortable with it. But maybe 
I'm just saying maybe, I'm not saying it is like this, but maybe the discomfort you feel is truly from you holding on to some someone you're not. Because that's also that also happens to a lot of people. I'm sorry, I just woke up, so I'm, forgive me if I'm not that fluent in my speech. You hold on to who you think you are. We have all this attachment, these likes and dislikes that you're holding on to. And it's those likes and dislikes that are causing this discomfort. But indeed, in your environment that you live in is hostile. So now, in your mind, you think it's because the environment is hostile. That's why I have all this discomfort. But hold on a minute. You grew up there. And you didn't have much trouble while growing up. You weren't even aware of the hostility. But now that you've grown older, now that you have this persona that you're holding on to, that you think it's, it's you, but it's not you, you have all these negative vibrations that are generated because of it. So the real issue is, you need to let go, you need to be delivered of that false identity. And of course, if the environment is hostile and sterile, okay, you can leave, but leave delivered. Don't leave intoxicated. I'm making this video, or I would say audio clip, because a lot of people, they seek relief. And look at what I'm saying here. When you are seeking relief, desperately, evil spirits who notice this are going to aid you through, through other people to give you the relief you want. But you're not aware that it's evil spirits using those people to give you relief. But evil spirits know that you're not delivered. So they know very well that once you receive that relief, you become stuck at that relief. You become addicted to it. And with that, demons have a hold on you. A, a lot of people also do this. They cut people off. When they feel uncomfortable, and let's say they have a social circle with or maybe let's say they have Facebook, they have 200 people in Facebook, just people they can't have contact with, and once they are uncomfortable, they lash out against one of those people on Facebook and delete them, unfriend them. They even block them. And later, they will say that they have their reasons for it, or they may say, well, they didn't like what someone posted. They come with some kind of excuse. They act out to get relief. Before there was Facebook, people would act out often by bullying, and by physically assaulting someone else. Well, it still happens. But today, though to social media, we will have a substitute for, for, acting out violent, uh, for acting out physically. Look, acting out physically may give you relief, but you're not delivered. And by acting out, you've caused more, more issues and more trouble than if you would have just been real with yourself and sought deliverance instead of relief. Now I'm going to end this recording, just be aware, relief and deliverance are two separate things. Deliverance will bring relief eventually, but the relief on itself without, without any deliverance will only lead to bondage, decay and intoxication. That being said, you all, be at peace, shalom.